and explained by the Salaf al Saleh, by our righteous predecessors from the companions and those who follow them in goodness. So Islam must be approached in this manner. We approach Islam from the main two sources, the Quran, and also we have to reflect seriously upon the way that we're applying Islam, where we are not allowed to go to any extreme, whether overboard or we go below the level expected of us. So this is the message of today, and this must be a normal, natural part of our day-to-day -day lives. So we can be those true ambassadors of, of Islam, where the people would see the true Islam in the way that we function, the way that we conduct ourselves, and how we worship. وَالْآخِرَ دَوَانَا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ وَصَلَّمْ عَلَى بِنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ جَمَعِينَ السلام عليكم The end of the sermon is the time for everyone to offer Eid greetings to each other. Usually after the um, khutbah, what would happen is that the people would then get up and greet one another. And normally we'd hug, each, hug our brothers and wish them the best and ask them to forgive us if we've done anything wrong and just ask them to accept. We hope that Allah would accept our deeds from us and from them. And this it shows a sense of brotherhood, it gives this sense of brotherhood and also this uh, bond between the Muslim and that after we have all generally, we have gone through these days of fasting and now we are, uh, have the opportunity now to celebrate and you know, to uh, be merry. So you feel a degree of brotherhood. I think when you greet others in times of celebration and you greet others in times of sorrow, it's the issue of bonding between people. So we talk about the Ummah, the Ummah, the, the collection of Muslims around the world. And this is one way to make the Ummah closer by congratulating somebody who's next to me, who I might not personally know. There's not an issue for me to get up and greet him. And this is what brings the brotherhood together. And also after greeting that he said is, the wording is, Allah minna wa minkum, that may Allah accept this from us and also from you. So it shows that a person of a concern that this uh, e worship, this great worship that we just completed, which consists of you know, many of the pillars of Islam. We were involved in fasting, we are involving uh, prayer, we have uh, also involved in giving of charity, that everyone is hoping that or that this is acceptable.